Teradek TV allows you to easily stream live feeds from cameras to collaborators to view from their mobile device or computer from anywhere on set or across the world. Quickly add cameras and encoders and use the drag and drop web interface to choose which crew members can see which feeds and even allow them to text and voice chat for live remote collaboration. Along with Teradek encoders and networking hardware, Teradek TV completes a comprehensive cloud collaboration ecosystem. Let's jump right in. If you are setting up the Teradek TV project for your production, start by creating an account. Go to teradek.tv and click the button to sign up. All new users will receive a free 7-day trial to get acquainted with Teradek TV. Sign up with your email or choose your preferred SSO login. Once logged in, we'll create a project, which can be a single film or season of television. It could also be a collection of smaller productions. From the All Projects page, select the Start Project button or navigate to the hamburger menu and select Create New Project. Name your project and use the drop-down list to select the closest region to where you are shooting. Pro tip. If you have multiple locations, we recommend you select the region closest to your production office. Then select Next. Then, choose a plan based on what features you need. Pricing will depend on how many users you will be adding to your project. With your free trial, you can access the basic plan with two users for seven days starting from project creation. You can change plans at any time. For studios or production companies that have multiple simultaneous productions, a Teradek Enterprise plan is recommended. To learn more about plans and pricing, visit teradek.tv. Select Next and choose how many users you wish to start with. You can add more users at any time. Select Next and enter payment information. Then select Create Project. You now have your first project. Select Finish, and you will be taken to your new project's dashboard. As an administrator, you can add or remove cameras and users, create viewing spaces, and rearrange users and which spaces they have access to. Let's dive right in and create our first camera. A Teradek TV camera is the representation of a real-life camera on set, offering a live feed, instant recordings, and metadata history for that real-life camera. In a post-production use case, it can also be a feed from a post workstation. You will need a Teradek encoder for each camera you wish to connect to Teradek TV. In the camera section on the dashboard, select the plus button to add a camera. In the window, choose from the pre-selected camera names or enter your own. Select next and assign a unit ID if applicable. Select next and you'll have the option to enter the camera operator's name for reference if you wish. Select Next and your camera is created. You will then be prompted to link a Teradek encoder, which you can always do later. Select Link Encoder and you will be prompted for a device code from your encoder. Follow your encoder's documentation to connect your encoder to the internet and access its web UI. In the web UI, select Cloud Services. Under the Teradek TV Service section, Click Link This Device, and you will be given a connection code. Back in Teradek TV, enter the code into the prompt. Select Next, and your encoder will be connected to the Teradek TV camera and stream any video being input into it. Rinse, lather, and repeat to add more cameras. Now let's add some users to get some eyes on these cameras. From the dashboard, select the plus button next to the users section. Enter the emails of your desired users into the field and then select add users. Then assign roles to each user. Administrator, coordinator, technician, or active or daily viewer. The administrator role can view and control everything from cameras to users to billing. The coordinator role only manages viewers and what they see. The technician can manage device and camera settings, but cannot manage spaces or users. The viewer role can see the live streams and recordings via the Teradek TV viewing app, but can't change any settings. After all users and roles are assigned, select Add Users, and invitation emails will be sent to the entered addresses. Invited users can select the email prompt to create an account if they haven't already done so. 
Once they have an account, they can log into the Teradek TV app, available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, and start viewing camera feeds, recordings, as well as collaborate. However, viewers won't see anything until you add them to a space. So let's create one. Spaces are essentially customized groups of camera feeds and the users authorized to view them. This allows users to communicate within their department in an area that is tailored for them. Create a space for the director with access to all cameras or a space for the art department with access to just one camera. As an administrator or coordinator, you can create an unlimited amount of spaces for all levels of participation. In the dashboard, go to the Spaces section and select the plus button. Name your space. We'll make this example for producers. You can toggle collaboration and toggle voice chat and or text chat within the space. Select add space and it will show up in the dashboard, but it will look a little lonely. So let's add cameras and users into the space. The producers will want to see all the camera angles so we'll just drag and drop all of them from the cameras section. And of course, we need to add our producers to the space by dragging and dropping them from the users section. And voila! The producers can view the streams from the cameras and communicate with other users in the space, all via the app. Repeat to create as many spaces as you want for the director, art department, makeup department, post-production, and even crafty if it tickles your fancy. To learn more about Teradek TV, visit teradek.tv.